Okay dear students, good afternoon to all. Now today we are going to see the liquefaction of gas and the kinetic theory of gas. This is the two topic which we are going to see today. What are the topics which we are going to see? Liquefaction of In that, we are going to see new Thomson effect. And the inversion transition. After that, we are going to see the kinetic theory. Two are our topic today. So let us see liquefaction of gas. What is happen when a gas is liquefied? See, when a gas is passes into the small holes from higher pressure region to lower pressure region. When a gas is flow through or passes through the this region, there will be cooling occurs. Appreciable cooling occurs. Cooling occurs mean what it means? When a cooling occurs, the temperature is reduced. Temperature is reduced. So the statement of Joule Thompson, Joule Thompson observed this one, but after that he is giving a statement. What is the law? Uh, Joule Thompson effect is nothing but uh, lowering the temperature. Lowering the temperature. Then gas is adiabatically expanded. Adiabatically expands from higher pressure region to So this is a Joule Thompson effect. What he is saying is just when a gas is flow through the holes to the higher pressure region to lower pressure region, you may get a lowering of temperature. That is a cooling effect causes. That's why this effect is called a Joule Thompson effect. Joule Thompson effect. Joule Thompson effect. So let me define that. How he is giving the statement for the lowering the temperature. Lowering the temperature. Temperature is decreased or cooling occurs. For this we can put a cooling occurs or lowering the temperature. When the gas is adiabatically expands. What is called adiabatic? Adiabatic means Q equal to 0. What if you have heat is 0. Heat neither giving out or not getting there is no flow of heat that is called a q equal to zero so adiabatic adiabatically expands when a gas expands adiabatically from higher pressure region to higher pressure region to lower pressure this is called a joule thompson effect so simply the statement we can give temperature will be lower or cooling occurs when a gas is flow from the higher pressure region to lower pressure region when it is Adiabatically expands. Adiabatically expands when gas expands in adiabatic condition. What is called adiabatic condition? Adiabatic condition is nothing but there is a no flow of heat from system to surrounding that we can say. System to surrounding means giving out or getting in. Nothing is taken place. That is called adiabatically expands. That time the temperature will be lower or that means cooling occurs. This is given by the Joule Thompson. So it is called a Joule Thompson effect. It is not observed always. You cannot, uh, this process can be taken, uh, you cannot uh, expect that always it will happen. No. At certain temperature, this is happening. At a certain temperature. At a particular temperature it is happening. So that is called, the particular temperature is called a inversion temperature. That particular temperature is called a inversion temperature. 
what is inversion temperature ti it can explain by ti ti equal to when a gas obeys joule thomson effect below this temperature below this temperature that particular temperature is called a inversion temperature okay it is given by ti okay ti is a inversion temperature inversion temperature it is nothing but a when a gas obeys a joule thomson effect below this temperature then what is the joule thomson effect again we can repeat Lowering the temperature when a gas is uh, adiabatically expands from higher pressure region to lower pressure. Okay, that is TI. For TI, why it is used? TI is used uh, for the natural gases like uh, hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, oxygen. These are having the very, very low value of tc value there is a critical temperature is very low for them in the case all those cases we can apply joule thompson effect for a cooling the cases in these cases are uh, undergoing cooling with the process of joule thompson effect for this ti is used then ti equal to 2a by rb ti equal to 2a by rb the ti the inversion temperature can be given by 2a by rb inversion temperature can be given by 2a by rb at the inversion temperature what happened at inversion temperature at a particular temperature there is no rise or fall there is no rise or fall of the temperature so what they are saying at the inversion temperature there is a uh, there is no rise or fall of the heat okay at the, during the inversion temperature there is no heat is produced like this now there is no change in heat when a inversion temperature at a particular point okay after that inversion temperature above this inversion temperature above ti value the gas gets heated the gas is heated that means the temperature uh, 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 above this temperature no cooling occurs simply we can say above the inversion temperature there is no cooling because the gases gets heated up okay so at the at the temperature inversion temperature there is no rise or fall of the temperature it is a constantly temperature maintaining constant at the inversion temperature at a particular point at inversion temperature there is no rise or fall of the uh, heat but whereas uh, above the ti inversion temperature you may find that uh, you are having the uh, gas are getting heated up okay then the liquefaction the types of liquefaction types of first type one lindes process lindes process strictly follows the joule thomson effect joule thomson effect lindes process strictly follows the joule thomson effect mostly all type of gases getting into the liquid all types of gases getting into the liquid lindes process then another one process the gladys process gladys process there is a second method liquefaction here here also this also follows the joule thomson effect here joule thomson effect here in the addition to that there is a mechanical work also added mechanical work also in addition to the joule thomson effect the mechanical work also is added so till more you are getting uh, the production of the uh, production till more you can produce more gas liquid gas to liquid the process will be more comparatively in this method 
then this all type of gases can be converted into liquid the more cooling the cooling may be produced more in a gradual process because in addition to the joule thompson effect we are adding a mechanical work mechanical work the more number of gases can be liquid converted into liquid so more cooling may be produced then third method is adiabatic process adiabatic process adiabatic process okay, what is the adiabatic process during the adiabatic process the magnetic property of substance is removed from that substance see listen in order to produce ultra cooling too much of to get a ultra cooling uh, there is a process called adiabatic process in that process what they are doing is you no know, their magnetic property of particular substance is removed from that substance so after the removing the substance you may get a ultimate cooling for example gadolinium sulfate adiabatic process in gadolinium sulfate they are removing magnetic property of gadolinium sulfate they are getting a ultra cooling so that is they can reach the cooling up to 10 power minus 4 kelvin so ultimate cooling there is a 10 power minus 4 kelvin up to 10 power minus 4 kelvin we can get into that if it is possible to achieve the zero kelvin is very easy okay zero kelvin is absolute temperature the absolute temperature can be easy because 10 power minus 4 kelvin can be reached by this method adiabatic process so what is the adiabatic process in adiabatic process of liquefaction adiabatic is different than here adiabatically uh, the gases are getting into the liquid there they are doing that uh, they are removing magnetic property of the substance after the removing the magnetic property of substance we are getting a cooling effect so here 10 power minus 4 kelvin up to 10 power minus 4 kelvin you can reach cooling so that is very easy to reach the achieve the zero kelvin so these are the types of liquefaction lindes process gladys process then adiabatic process a uh, joule thompson is strictly follows the joule thompson effect many the liquid air or other all other gases can be converted to gas to liquid in this method gladys process still more the cooling effect may be more comparatively lindes process here joule thompson effect is followed in the addition to that some mechanical work is done and the system some mechanical work is done on the system so that a more number of gases converted to liquid are the more cooling is produced that's a purpose the final method adiabatic process in adiabatic process the magnetic property of the substance is removed from the substance by uh, 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 by doing so we are getting the cooling effect for example gadolinium sulfate is the substance magnetic property of the substance is removed then uh, we can reach the 10 power minus 4 kelvin up to 10 power minus 4 kelvin so zero kelvin is reached very easy that's all about the types of liquefaction so far in our book uh, in state board syllabus that's all about the lesson is completed gas state is completed but there is one topic is left over it is not given your state board book that is a kinetic theory of gases that we are going to see now kinetic Theory of gases. So it is very very important topic, but it is not a uh, mention uh, given in your book. You will study in a physics the like that they will say just uh, the intro about the kinetic theory of gases. We are not going to see detail, but uh, what are the factors we need for the our uh, area that uh, uh, important topics only I am going to uh, cover in this today session. So kinetic theory simply what is kinetic theory of gases when a temperature increases. kinetic energy also increases that is a logic i am going to explain only when temperature increases increases kinetic energy also increases okay so what is the gases equation for the kinetic theory gases pv equal to 1 by 3 gases equation for a motion Okay, this is a gas equation. P V equal to one by three N O M into U square. What is N O? The N O variable. The N O is a Avogadro number. 
our address number, m is the mass of this, is there. then u is there. root mean square velocity, root mean square velocity, root mean square velocity. That you know, we know that. We know that. Avagatra number into mass equal to molecular mass. Avagatra number n o into m equal to molecular mass. You substitute this here, you may get p v equal to one by three m v square. Okay. Now to simplify this, three p v equal to. 3 pv equal to m u square. Okay, this formula. Okay. Maybe equation number one. This is equation number two. Let it be. Now we are dealing with the kinetic energy. No, kinetic energy. Kinetic energy of m mole of a gas can be given as Kinetic energy, what is the of m u square? Kinetic energy of m u square that is equal to. See here, m u square we have some value three pv, so three pv by two, or otherwise three by two pv. Okay, so instead of m u square, I am putting three pv. Already two oh, is there, so three by two pv. Or otherwise we can have a three by two R six. So that is a kinetic energy of n mole of this. For average kinetic energy, average kinetic energy. Average kinetic energy equal to three by two. R by n naught t. This is our number. Nothing but our number. So we can write three by two into R t by n naught. This is our age kinetic energy. So this is for n moles. This is for our age our age kinetic energy divided by the our number. Nothing but you are dividing the equation by our number. So then it is simplified to three by two k t. This is average kinetic energy. What is K? K is nothing but R by n naught. R by n naught. Instead of the R by n naught, I am putting K. So this is a well-known constant. This called as Boltzmann constant. Boltzmann constant. Boltzmann constant. The K is nothing but a Boltzmann constant. That is nothing but a R by n naught. Here R is a universal gas constant. N naught is a Avogadro number. When the uh, universal case constant given by the Avogadro number, you are getting the Boltzmann constant. Okay. The K equal to uh, R by N O is nothing but a Boltzmann constant. So R is kinetic energy can given by three by two K T. From this, we can come to the conclusion. Average kinetic energy. Directly proportional to absolute temperature. Directly proportional to the temperature. Directly proportional to the temperature. It means when the temperature increases, kinetic energy also increases. When temperature increases, kinetic energy also increases. This means that's why I said at first, what is the kinetic theory of gases giving us that whenever temperature rises, there is a Yeah, increase in kinetic energy. The same way, when our temperature falls, the kinetic energy also will be uh, decreases. Okay. For example, if uh, T at the time T equal to zero, what happens? T equal to zero. If when the T equal to zero, what about the kinetic energy? This is important number they just get. Kinetic energy also zero. At the T is zero, kinetic energy also zero. Okay. When the temperature is zero, kinetic energy also zero. This is all about the kinetic theory of gases. Once again, I am repeating this. Kinetic theory of gases tells us that when the temperature increases, kinetic theory also increases. 
kinetic energy also increases. For example, gases equation for the PV equal to 1 by 3 M naught into M U square. Okay, here what is the M naught Avogadro number? M small uh, M that is a uh, mass of the gas U equal to root mean uh, square velocity. We know that uh, N O into M that is Avogadro number into mass may be given by molecular mass. So if you substitute this here, PV equal to 1 by 3 M U square. Again, if you are simplifying 3 PV equal to M U square. Okay, so kinetic energy of n more of gases that is equal to half m u squared. Here you have value for m u squared from here, the equation 2. Instead of the m u squared, you put a 3 pv. Again, 3 by 2 pv. The pv are always substituted by rt. Okay, so how is this step? This is this nothing but a pv equal to nrt. I mean, I don't know. So, 3 by 2 rt. The average kinetic energy. Average kinetic energy is nothing but the kinetic energy of n mole divided by our number. This will give you average kinetic energy. So 3 by 2 into R n naught into T. So R by n naught equal to Boltzmann constant is nothing but R by there is R is a universal gas constant, N O is a Avogadro number. When a universal gas constant is divided by the Avogadro number, you are getting that K K is nothing but a Boltzmann constant. So 3 by 2 kt. This is an average kinetic energy equation for the gases. So, average kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature. This means when the temperature increases, kinetic energy also increases. At a time, when a temperature is zero, kinetic energy also is zero. That's all about this kinetic energy. At last, we are going to discuss about the different type of velocity. Different types of velocities. First one. Average velocity. Average velocity. Average velocity may be denoted by U A V or V A V or V bar. That is a denotion for average velocity. Average velocity U bar equal to okay. Eight arc by this is average velocity. Here, RT equal to you substitute PV. PV by okay, PV by then you know it will this is average velocity. Because why I am substituting D here, you know very well density equal to molecular mass by volume. So here V by M or density, if you put a density here, V by M, then M by V become that's a T. This is a average velocity. Okay, then second velocity. Root mean square velocity. Root mean square. What is called root mean square velocity? So this is may be denoted by U R M S or V R M S root mean square velocity. So root mean U R M S equal to U R M S equal to root of three. RT by 3RT by M. Yeah, this can be written like this PV equal to RT if you substitute. 3RT by M. Then, if you substitute 3RT by RT by M, can be written like this 3PV by M. Again, when you have substitute D value here, you may get a root 3 P by D, 3 P by D. Okay. Then, third type of velocity is the most probable velocity. Most probable velocity. 
most probably will ask. The risk can be given by MPV or VMPV, UMPV or VMPV. Most probable velocity. And UMPV, the risk is equal to. Two RT by M. Two RT by M. Then stuff two PV by M. R. Out of two P by D. Okay, this is the most probable lesson. When you compare all those three, that is a If you compare this, U R M S test, U R H test, U M P. That is equal to if you the final data. If you substitute that, see first R M S row three P by T. Okay, Mr. The don use A P by D. Mr. R M P B root P by. In all cases, P by D cancel. If you cancel all, all of them have P by D. No, you cancel it. Then you are getting root three is two. Here what is that? Root eight pi pi. Pi is extra. Then root. this is a comparison of all those three velocities. So once again, I am repeating you. There are three different types of velocities are there. One is average velocity, another is a root mean square velocity, and the most probable velocity. Okay. The average velocity can be given uh, the denoted by uh, UAV average or the VAV average or V bar. Uh, among the, these three, anyone will be a representation for the average velocity. Uh, v bar equal to root of 8 RT by pi m. Then uh, the RT can be replaced by PV because the gas equation PV equal to RT. So RT can be substituted by the PV. Again, uh, V by m, if you invert that, uh, D equal to m by V. So if you substitute D in the denominator, you may get a uh, 8p by pi d. This is called the uh, average velocity. In the same way, root mean square velocity, it may be denoted by urms or vrms. urms equal to uh, root of 3rt by m. Uh, then uh, rt can be converted to pv, 3pv by m or uh, 3p by d. Then uh, most probable velocity, umpv or uh, vmpv, it can be denoted by uh, umpv or vmpv. The UMPV that is equal to root of 2RT by M, then 2PV uh, by M root of, then uh, V by M can be substituted by D density, then 2P uh, by D. So comparing these three velocities, you will have a, uh, the uh, comparison between the root mean square velocity and average velocity and the most probable velocity. You give the final data 3p by d, root of 8p by, by d, root of 2p by d. All the cases you are having p by d in the common, you take it and cancel it. p by d, p by d, all, all, all are taken out. So it is common factor. Remaining is root 3, is 8 by 8 pi by, 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 then root 2. This is a comparison. These are asked as questions in the need also as well as in state board. So this, why I am dealing this, this is not given in your books or why are you teaching like this, you know? These are data so you need to the problem. In the case state, you have a lot of problems. Other than the theory, more derivation will be there. Other than the derivation, many number of problems you will have in a case state. For all those, you need uh, these uh, formulas to do. That's why just I am recording these formulas, even they are not given in your book. That's all about the Gacy state. Gacy state lesson is completed. You go with it. At first, uh, once you watch the video, you may get a half of the clearance only. Again, and repeatedly you are going and reading the book. Uh, the repeated reading and uh, again you watching the video only. 
you can get a 75%, remaining 25% you come to the classes and you will get cleared. Thank you.